Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena, episode 121 for Wednesday, October 26th, 2016. Widgets. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by Tracker, a coin-sized tracking device that pairs with your smartphone and keeps you from losing your most valued possessions. Visit thetracker.com right now and enter promo code ARENA to receive a free Tracker Bravo with any purchase. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. At this point in Android's evolution, we've seen about everything there is to see with Widgets. It's one of those legacy features that differentiates Android from some other platforms, but dare I say, widgets aren't the hotness anymore. They just simply exist. But if you use a widget, I'd guess that you've probably been using that same widget for years now, because, you know, when we find something we like, we stick with it, especially when it comes to our home screen. I've got a few apps here today that shift those widgets away from the home screen and into other places within the OS. And finally, I also have a widget that I found super useful if you like to search for things. So let's take a look at this week's roundup. Along with Marshmallow came a new take on the quick settings pane within Android. A hidden feature back then would allow users to customize those functions to some degree anyways, but thankfully that customization is now accessible to all users of Nougat. And if there's new territory to conquer, you better believe developers will try and do that. For example, if you've ever thought you might want to throw widget access into those quick settings, now you can, thanks to the app called Quidgets. It's pretty straightforward, though you might be slightly confused to not find the app in your drawer once it's installed in your device. Here's how you use it. Swipe into your quick settings, and then you'll tap to edit the layout and options are shown there. Uh, scroll down and you'll see this small list of Quidgets buttons there. Tap and drag those, one of those anyways, up into the main quick settings pane to place it where you want it to appear going forward. And then tap to exit the edit mode. Now, all you do is tap that Quidgets quick setting button and this is gonna fire off the setup. You're shown a large list of the apps that are installed on your device that have widgets associated with them. Pick the widget you want to access through your quick settings pane and then hit OK. Now we'll go out to our main screen and enter quick settings like we would normally do. And there you see it, it's in the list. I'll tap that and now my widget appears over the top of everything I'm already doing on my device. This is a great way to utilize widgets without occupying space on your home screen. Even better, this allows you to use widgets on demand for sensitive things, things like email or messaging without exposing that content for everyone to see by default on your home screen. You can find Quidgets in the Play Store for free. Storing widget access inside quick settings is one thing, but you are a distinguished individual who prefers to have a seemingly endless list of widgets accessible from the notifications drawer instead, let's say. See, I know you better than you know yourself. Check out Snap Swipe Drawer, which allows you to do just this. Here is the main screen for setting up uh, which widgets are gonna appear inside Snap. You just tap the plus icon down there to get started and then scroll through to pick the widget that you want in the list. I'm gonna go through right now and add five or six of them here to create a nice stacked list of widgets. I can reorder this list if I want to to make sure the best stuff is always kept at the top for the quickest glancing. With those now in place, I can summon my new widget stack by swiping down from the top right part of my device, right over where you see the clock up there in the corner. Now, as you can see, instead of showing my traditional notification pane when I do that, I'm shown my widgets. Some widgets might not appear to take up the whole row, so I can go back into my list of widgets inside Snap and then tap the menu button next to those widgets and then configure them and make them look better. Here I can assign the number of columns and rows that I want them to occupy. And now when I preview again, things look even better. 
You can go into preferences to adjust the action that summons this list if you want to change that up. You can also adjust sensitivity, uh, whether it works on the lock screen. You can even add certain apps to a blacklist so that Snap doesn't summon when you're, say, playing a game, for example. Snap is free with a Prime upgrade for $1.85 to remove the ads and also allows for unlimited widget stackability. Find Snap Swipe Drawer in the Play Store now. Google search isn't the only search out there, so why not bring in some more universal search functionality to the home screen? Custom search bar widget allows you to theme a new search bar entirely and extend its capabilities so you can search any number of services from the bar itself. First, inside the app, I'm gonna go ahead and pick a search bar theme that matches my mood. This rad pack feels, well, pretty rad. Uh, but if I wanna go crazy, I can edit the widget and control all of the visual aspects myself. Things like setting the default search that I want to operate in, all types of appearance settings like colors, icon placement, uh, drop shadows. Finally, this function here for adding a drawer, which essentially shows different sources for search that can be tapped from the home screen directly. Doing so pulls that source into the search bar for the query that I'm gonna fire off. Now, when the widget is open, I can tap that plus icon to show the many actions that can also be added there. Yes, search item will drop in one of the many targets for those search queries, but the app also allows me to add in a shortcut to particular apps on my device for quick launching. Web links for visiting that site I always go to, or actions for copy paste or voice search. Basic functionality is free, but for a $1.99 upgrade, you're gonna get access to a special pixel style launcher theme uh, for the search bar, also more customization options and more icons to choose from. Find custom search bar widget in the Play Store now. More and more, my home screen is becoming more simplified as I trim the fat and move things out of constant view. It helps me focus and keeps me from being distracted. So moving widgets off into another part of the OS actually makes perfect sense to me. Making them on demand and quickly accessible is kind of the best of both worlds. All right, before we move on, let's thank the sponsor of today's episode, and that is Tracker. We're all used to losing our possessions. Newsweek actually reports the average American wastes 55 minutes a day looking for things they own but they can't find. Tracker actually makes losing things a thing of the past, and I'll tell you how to get one for free. The Tracker Bravo locates misplaced keys, wallets, computers, backpacks, bicycles, even pets in seconds. The coin-sized device is constructed with anodized aluminum for the thinnest, most durable tracking. You can easily attach it to any of your items with a key loop or included adhesive. Tracker is enabled by Bluetooth LE, so the battery is going to last up to one full year. And you can even engrave it. Laser engraved message can be put onto the Tracker Bravo, like return information or pet information. And you can now also personalize your tracker with a custom printed image. It looks really sharp and sets it apart. Pair Tracker to your iOS or Android device, and you can find its precise location with a tap of a button. And, I mean, it's really just that easy. You just tap the button, and you're off to the races. Your phone can track up to 10 devices at once. You can also customize two-way separation alerts so you're notified before you leave your item behind. If you lose your phone, you just press the button on the tracker, and your phone is it's going to ring, even if it's left on silent. With over 3.5 million devices shipped, Tracker has the largest crowd GPS network in the world, so your lost item is going to show up on a map, even if it's miles away. And if you happen to lose your item, that Tracker app records its last known location on a map, and then when another Tracker user comes within a 100-foot range of your item, you are going to receive a GPS update of where your item is located. How cool is that? Go to thetracker.com and never lose your possessions again. Plus, just for our audience, if you enter promo code ARENA, you're going to get a free Tracker Bravo with your order. That's T-H-E-T-R-A-C-K-R.com, promo code ARENA, to get your free Tracker Bravo today. All right, up next, Google wants your home screen to be prettier, dang it. It's this week's Big App. Many features of Google's new Pixel lineup of phones are, at least in the short term, exclusive to just those Pixel devices. That is, except its new wallpaper functionality, as Google has released that app called, well, simply, 
wallpaper. And it's for everyone to install and enjoy on their devices. As far as wallpaper apps go, it is pretty basic stuff, but it's worth taking a look at, especially if you happen to be jelly of the Pixel phones. First, of course, you have access to your own phones and live wallpapers on your device, but that's kind of to be expected here. Outside of that are these categories of wallpapers from Google itself, earth, landscapes, cityscapes, life, and finally textures. You can tap into any of these to reveal a deep list of thumbnails showcasing Google's colorful, vibrant, and complicated offerings for your backdrop. You can tap an image, and that's gonna actually reveal the photo credits, where it was found, and you can even tap an explore button for checking out more of that photographer's work online, maybe linking up to Google Plus or other places. But going back to the Wallpapers app, at the top of each of these lists is a daily wallpaper button, which can be tapped and that'll activate it. This is gonna cycle your wallpaper every day with photos from this category, including ones not shown in the list that will just download on the fly. Just tap to set the wallpaper and choose whether to update your home screen, your lock screen, or both with this selection and your device will always feature fresh new photos as your backdrop direct from Google. Find Google wallpapers in the Play Store for free. It may not be much, but it's yet another aspect of Android that's been broken out into an always updatable piece. It's gonna ensure your device stays up to date, even when your manufacturer or carrier won't do it for you. How nice is that? Send me your favorite apps and categories to arena at twit.tv. You can always post those to the subreddit. That's Android App Arena reddit.com. I go through there and mine for uh, new app ideas from time to time. I really appreciate your input there. The show plays live every Wednesday around 5 p.m. Pacific following tech news today at twit.tv slash live and new episodes always appear later in the evening in the feeds and on the show page at twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell and I will see you next week in the arena. Mm -hmm.